thanks for joining us on this live demo of our new Jeremy stencils. So excited about this. And if you're just coming on, just let us know you're <clears throat> logged on and hang out with us and give a comment. Um, hopefully, Facebook will allow us to see this in real time. So it might be a delayed comment for a second, but we'll get to you. And if you comment later on, just, you know, hit replay. Yeah, if you comment later on, let us know that you watched it on the replay. So what we're doing first, for those that are just joining us, we're um, going ahead and prepping some boards that we've found. And I'll tell you about these boards. They're really cool, actually. We found these cedar planks you actually cook on. And so I thought, well, what a cool way to make a sign. So um, having this, it, it just makes a great little lightweight sign. You can put a, a, a little burlap rope on it and hang, hang it from, you know, a wall, a door, mm -hmm. whatever. Anyway, uh, these were really great. I, I actually found these for like $3. They aren't normally $3. I found them at a thrift store for $3 unused. And I thought, well, that's perfect. So I'm going to be using those tonight. I think Dawn's using a couple of things. What are you using? I'm using one of the cedar planks. Oh, yep. Yeah. Cedar planks and, oh, a and cutting this. board. A paddle. She's using a paddle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Y'all help me. <laughs> so, I'm doing a Christmas theme. She's. <laughs> I'm already into Christmas. Mm -hmm. She's so. saying if you're bad, she's going to paddle me. <laughs> So just, just know. <laughs> so what we're using for those who wonder, we're using today, tonight DIY paint for a base coat on these uh, planks. Um, Dawn is using Bohemian Blue. Bohemian Blue, and I am using what's called Aviary, which is a really fresh, bright green. Um, so that's a pretty cool color. And so it does not take much at all in terms of paint. To cover over these and get you ready for stenciling so you know stenciling projects are not hard at all they're very simple um, and very easy way to hey great gift ideas for people by the way Christmas is coming up yeah it'll be here before we know it yeah so you've got that home homemade gift ideas for people if you got something unique yeah. you want to give them huh? Gotta go get oh. I'll be back should be back I got it I got it, I got it. So anyway, um, so that's what we're doing. We're getting these prepped, and then we're going to show you sort of the, the stenciling and use some of the products that we've started selling in our retail space at the Brass Bear. So, um, and for those of you that are not familiar with JRV stencils, they are very well-made, thick stencils. They have great uh, uh, ways of making it look so crisp and clean, and uh, that's what I love about them, because... As long as you learn how to do it right and you're going through the steps correctly, you're it's very hard to really mess it up. And, and even if you do, it's paint, you can paint over it and start all over again. So it's real simple. Um, we like them. We like the versatility. There's all kinds of things that we love about JRB stencils and how we can actually take multiple stencils and combine to make a, a unique look. Painting my edges to make it look good. So everybody eat, eat, eat any barbecue today? Anybody eat? We didn't, but mm -mm. no. No, we went to Super Chicks for lunch. Super Chicks. In Hoover, we're in about 10 minutes from Hoover in Alabama. And then we had pizza for dinner. Yeah. So. Well, we knew we were doing this, so we wanted <laughs> something fairly simple. <laughs> So, all right, I pretty much got my board painted. Dawn's got hers painted. Uh, Julie had steak on the grill. Steak? What was the invite? <laughs> what? Did you grill it? Did Lauren grill? Sorry, we got to turn the, the heat gun on for a second. It won't be too loud. We're using the heat gun for the sake of time. Actually, we kind of need a new heat gun, so bear with us. Yeah. You want me to do it? I think I can get it. You have to hold your mouth just right. <laughs> just be patient. There. 
It really helps us get our everything in and done so we can show you the whole project. But um, the colors we're going to be using to, uh, also are what's called marquee red. Marquee red, which is a really nice red. Um, we're going to use. Oh, okay, sorry. We're going to use crinoline, which is a sort of an antique white, just to you know help with the color and make it look really um, natural looking. You know, sometimes it's, subtle things work best than in your face, if you know what I mean. All right, mine's pretty much painted. And by the way, DIY paint dries really fast, even on its own. So if I sat here and let this paint dry for like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you'll start noticing it's almost dry, especially on wood, because wood's really absorbent. All right, I'm good with that. This bohemian blue is really pretty. Yeah, that's a good color. It looks good with this wood. I like it because you can still see some of the wood grain a little bit, and that sort of gives it a really neat look. All right, if you're on, we know Julie's on. Who else is on? Give us a thumbs up or let us know. Put a comment. Hopefully we'll see it in real time. We don't <laughs> know. We've been told. <laughs> What's up, Dawn? Who's that? Dawn Daly. Hey, Dawn Daly. Your mom's on, by the way. Oh, hey, Mom. Hi, big guy. <laughs> hey, Mom. <laughs> All right. I've brushed about all I can brush on this. And so what I'm going to do, late in, I'm going to use a couple of stencils. And I don't know if you can see them clear on this picture, but there's a snowflake, which it, we have in our shop, and a Christmas tree that come in the Christmas minis um, with JRV stencils. You can create, I think there's six or eight of these. There's a candy cane, a snowman, a couple of others. And then this is one that's unique to JRV. Uh, which is um, a company, it's titled Jamie Ray Vintage, but um, JRV Stencils, she's got this one. Uh, they, her, her and her husband have this one. Let's stay home. So I thought that might be cool to do with the snowflake. So I thought that would be a perfect, you know, hang out, stay, stay around the fireplace kind of situation going on there with that. I'm going to do the nativity scene. Yeah, that nativity scene for Christmas is going to be amazing. Yep. Yeah. We have this in the shop. Yeah, that was a really good one. We have a couple, we have two of these in the shop. Of course, you hang out with us to the end. We'll, we'll be able to show you all these. We're going to do this one, and I think each of us is going to do one more. It won't take us too long at all, and hopefully you can hear me. I'm going to get my board dried here. Ooh, that's a hot heat gun. I don't want to use no heat gun in the summertime. <laughs> Everybody, I've loved the weather the past few days. How about y'all? I'm so thankful that we're getting a hint of fall anyway, something. There's been days I've worked outside. I thought the other day, um, building that display, that was rough. <laughs> and it turned out great. Yeah, it did. Turned out good. So I've offloaded my paint so that it's not real thick whenever I put onto the stencil. Yeah, you want it to be almost dry. It's um, it's a building process when you're stenciling, so you're not using tons of paint. And that's the beauty of stencils too. You're not using a lot of paint. See, my board's almost dry. Look at that. Don't take long at all. I did aviary. That's pretty cool. I'm going to use this one. See, we're, we're, we're being smart using the heat gun because nobody wants to watch paint dry. Trust me. <laughs> no. But it doesn't take long to dry, so. Yeah, thankfully. <laughs> if you're going to watch paint dry, use DIY paint. Let me just say that. And JRV stencils. <laughs> Alright, I'm pretty much dry. 
If this thing goes off, well, we'll have tend to it. All right, I am going to get started on mine. Dom's getting hers mm -hmm. down pat. He moved. Yeah, you might need to walk on just to take a seat for stress. All right, so I'm going to use the Let's Stay Home. And I apologize, I can't really see my, but I'll, I'll show you at the end. It won't take but a second. Thank, thank y'all for hanging out with us. I do want to say that because everybody getting geared up for the week ahead. And mm -hmm. What'd y'all do? Did anybody um, go to the lake? We didn't. Mm -mm. Just saying. <laughs> I got a dilemma. Which side to put what on? I think I'm just going to do center. And I'm a rebel when it comes to centering. I eyeball. And I usually do pretty good. Yeah, we try to go to uh, thrift, the thrift stores, but most of them were closed. Yeah. So we made it to one thrift store today. We got some good stuff, but yeah. we were surprised that nobody... Like the Salvation Army and yeah, all of those kind of down. Um, there's been a, just let, letting you guys know. I'm using a method where it's it's stippling or it's just pouncing. Some people call it. There's been some I don't want to say controversy or some uh, statement saying it's better to swirl. I'm not the person to swirl because I don't want my stencil to move. But that's you can totally. I've heard with these because they're so thick, you can swirl them gives a different texture I just, I just like I like it I like to, to pounce mine up and down it still works um, I'm of the belief don't fix what's not broken but that's me so um, depends on what kind of look you're going for but anybody can do this this is a great a great thing for kids I mean if you got kids who have activities you want them to hey homeschooling opportunities it's Christmas God help us all if, we're, if parents are still doing <laughs> homeschooling up to Christmas. But for those activities, it's a great opportunity as it get towards the holidays if um, some of the parents are having to think of creative things to do with their kids. Kids can totally do this. This is not hard at all. All right. Well, I've pretty much got my let's stay home done. Uh, he's quicker than I am. I got a tiny one. <laughs> I got a tiny one. She's got a big one. I got a tiny one. So I'm going to add more to it, but there's the let's stay home part. So we've got that much done. Hopefully you can see that. And um, I'm going to add the rest of it that I'm going to use. Like I said, I'm going to use a couple of different things. I do want to use the signature bird on this one that goes with this one. I just like it. Isn't that pretty? No, I like that. So, but I'm gonna put the animals. I'm gonna. You're gonna stagger. I'm gonna them. stagger the stencil. She's gonna stagger it, give it a little bit more depth to it. Mm -hmm. That's all. You, that's what I, again. That's what I like about the stencils. You can do just about anything. You don't have to do them exactly as they're laid out if you don't want. There was one stencil I did the other day. I've got it up in the shop. It does not even look anything like the way the stencil was designed, which. They're not expecting us to do them that way. Um, but I just was able to create a different look um, that way and give it a unique look. So if you, even if you had the same wording on one sign, you could design it differently if you have one in one room, one in another, or if you're giving you know gifts away to different people so you're not mimicking exactly the same thing, whatever the case may be. Depends on if you're using it for yourself or giving it away. Almost got my bird done. All right. And I apologize. If y'all are commenting, I'm just going to let you know. Facebook, I've seen a few. I haven't seen a lot. Um, so, no, we will comment back on any of them that we haven't commented yet. Hopefully, Facebook will send those on through to us. Yeah, we, had a, we did a Facebook Live on Saturday, and we saw the, most of the comments after the Facebook yeah. Live was over. So, we're not ignoring you. We're just... Not seeing them. <laughs> For some reason. For some reason. We don't know. 
So I've added my bird. There's my bird. I'm showing you the steps and progression because I've got this tablet in front of me. So you can see that. I think that's kind of neat. And I'm going to give this a Christmas look to it. So I'm going to add a snowflake. And there's other things you can do to these. You can, um, we, we use a lot what's called white wax. So you could even, after this, to age it up a little bit or give it a unique weathered look. There's uh, DIY puts out a white wax as well. And that helps a lot in giving it a little bit more character. Um, and, it's, and it seals it at the same time. So you're kind of doing both. Um, but you hang these up. Chalk paint usually cures in about 30 days easily. Um, if you're not using it for anything that's going to be wear and tear, if it's just hanging on a wall, it's almost really fine like it is, especially on wood because wood's so porous it kind of absorbs it all up. All right, my new flick is almost done. I'm doing using cake batter for the star. Probably got too much white mixed up in it. They had cake in the manger scene. No. <laughs> no cake. No cake. No cake for you. Oh, there's the Christmas tree. All right, I'm not, I'm not branching out too far. I'm doing green with just this, so just for the sake of, it looks good. I like it. I cannot believe we're actually doing things Christmas related. Of course, if you're like, like many, hey, yeah. that looks really good. Look at that. That's beautiful. That's so pretty. That's cute. I like that. I really do. It's awesome. Um, we were just talking earlier. A lot of people are probably clamoring for Christmas to get here because everyone wants this year to be over with. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's, uh, it's been a difficult one for many. We have a lot, many have a lot to be thankful for, but many probably wishing it's over. All right. You beat me. And you had the most difficult one. <laughs> All right, here's mine. So, I did. Let's see. Oh, that's cute. It makes me want to stay home mm -hmm. with the tree and the snowflake. That's oh. cute. Anyway, so we'll set these aside. Let these dry. One minute. I got another board right here. I'm going to rinse out brushes. Or, oh, I can use that one. You use Bing Bing. Use that mm -hmm. to rinse this one out. Yeah, I'll rinse it out. Okay. All right, go ahead and use a Bohemian blue. Oh. And you need to rinse out your yeah. pencil brush? Yeah. No, no, no. I'm going to use the same color. Okay. Um, I'm not going to change anything too much. Bohemian blue over here. Okay. So this time, I'm using Bohemian blue. Dawn's got. I think she's using red this time on this one. Bohemian blue, that's really a cool, that's really a popular color. Um, for many for many things, um, if you like that Bohemian boho, I think the term's boho, or that's what I've heard. I am no expert on that piece of it, uh, but I just know that that's what I've heard. And here, I'm gonna um, sort of turn this up so you can kind of see. I'm painting some of this so you can kind of see how easy this goes on. I mean, it really does cover well. So with that, it stencils well also. So. Um, say very 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 heavy pigmented so that helps with our stencils tremendously but you can use any paint I mean as far as I recommend chalk paint just because chalk paints a little bit more absorbent uh, than your standard latex or acrylic those may take a hot minute to dry um, you'll want something that's pretty quick and a mineral paint of some sort there are different ones you got different brands out there um, that work well with stencils. Uh, we just prefer DIY just because we've used it over this last year uh, a tremendous amount. And we stencil not only on things like this. We, I've stenciled furniture. Um, the sign above me, it's not a JRV stencil, but it is a created stencil we got uh, for our logo. And uh, we used it. I used a stencil on it um, 
to make our sign look a little bit more professional. I didn't spend a ton of money on signage, so that helps. So if you got a business or something like that and you want to create a sign or something of that nature, even um, we have individual letter stencils as well that help with that and you can create your own signs. So there's a lot of, a lot of versatility. Okay. All right. Are you done with your... Uh, I'm done for the most part. I'm just... These, these boards are really light, so I'm trying to keep it still. All right. We're almost... And when I wash out the brushes, all I have to do is use water. Yeah. And it washes out. You don't want to let your brush sit too many days with the paint in it, because then it will harden. But all you have to do is just use water and a fabric softener, and it will come right out. Yep. There's water, uh, DIY paint's water soluble, so it helps when it's easily. It's reason for many things, if you use it for furniture, it's um, better to seal it so that way it holds together. So we've got our second, I've got my second one painted. I won't start drying yet so I can get my second stencil on. And if those of you who are just joining, just let us know um, where you're hanging out with us from. Uh, you know, we'd like to know and we like to comment back. And um, if you have any questions about stenciling, um, anything that we do, um, if you watched our Facebook Live uh, day before yesterday, is that day before yesterday? Yes, day before yesterday. <laughs> um, we had a show. We tried to do an overview of different things that we carry in our shop. Um, but if you saw anything on camera that day, let us know. Um, if you have questions or any questions about anything we do, feel free to reach out to us. This looks like it's almost dry. I'm scared. She's going to pat me with that. <laughs> she starts drilling holes in it. I'm in trouble. And this color I'm using is. Marquee. Marquee. Marquee Red. That's the color you painted. We painted the. Um, the armoire. The armoire in our shop. Marquee red. We love that color. Alright, I am done with that. And this one, I decided, this is going, we're going Christmas tonight. Um, <laughs> and to all a good night. No, 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 don't go anywhere. That was just the sun. <laughs> yeah. We're not through. Sorry, dad just joke. About. Bad joke. Yeah. Yeah. I got it. I'm a messy painter. Just gonna say. <laughs> I just am. <laughs> I get it all over me. Yeah, we're buying a new gun. We can't continue. <laughs> there. I'm not really too bad worried, but I was holding the sign as I was trying to paint it and it got everywhere. Normally I put it on my face a time or two too. <laughs> <laughs> not hard to do. No. Alright. Alright. Um, oh, I need to go now. And Sorry for the noise. I'm just doing it to, to get it done fast. Hey, look at this. You know what? We got a four day week this week. Yeah. And the weekend will be here. I was sitting here thinking today there was something on TV and I was like, why is that on tonight? I realized that today is not Sunday. The job will be messed up for a couple of days on that one, Lisa. Even the long weekends are not long enough. Unfortunately. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, hey, if you do, if you do end up with a little bit of paint, you can always Just sand it. Up. Yeah, and you can yeah. you can always sand it down. It'll it'll. And I recommend. I probably won't demonstrate that today, but I recommend that anytime you're doing signs like this, um, especially on wood, try to um, sand it lightly with 220 grit. It's a very fine. You don't want too much because. Um, the paint really just powders a little bit, and you can blow it off after it's dry. It, it gives it a little bit more smoothness, um, and, it, and it will kind of uh, level out any imperfections in when you're pouncing, um, like we demonstrated. So, did you clean my brush? Did I? Your stencil brush? Oh, I lost it. Oh, there it is. Sorry, <laughs> my stencil brush fell. I didn't even realize. I'm like, oh, where's my stencil brush? Uh-oh, Mia's upset about something. <laughs> Our cat just popped her head in and went, meh. <laughs> we don't really know what that means. Right. Well, again, for those of you who might have just joined, um, Facebook is kind of delayed on their comments. So if you're commenting, liking, thumbs up, uh, we will see it eventually. Not seeing a lot. I've seen a few comments come through uh, in the short time we've been on, um, but we'll eventually catch up. Like Dawn said just a minute ago, we had a Facebook Live day for yesterday, and it, we saw many of them well after the fact. Some of it was replay, uh, but some of them were um, actually in the moment, I realized, and then suddenly we're already at the end of it, and we're just able to say anything to you on screen. Seeing different lives go on like YouTube live, theirs is a pretty clear, theirs is pretty spot on mm -hmm. in real time. So if you've ever been on a YouTube live or been, I've attended one of those, those things, they really keep up with the time lapse on it. It's not a gap in time. Okay, I got a little bit bigger one. I like that one. Here, you pull this off. Dawn's having cocoa. And I'm having, or I'm using, into all good night. I think this is called Sleigh Rod. I think that's the name of it. You ready? Drum roll. Oh, I'm pouncing. I'm, I'm kind of new to stenciling. I haven't stenciled very much. That well, looks good. Yay. Oh, that's, I like that's that. That's really pretty. Yeah, a little bit you can touch up, but that ain't no big deal. Mm -hmm. Alright. See it so oh, far? Almost done. That's really pretty. That's neat. I'm going to put this 25 cents cut on the handle. Yeah. For all the bad kids, and they don't get 25 cent cups, so it's not a paddle. <laughs> everybody's been bad this year. Yeah, everybody's been bad this year. There's a lot of bad going on out there this year. I need some paddles going on. They don't get no cocoa this Christmas. We're just, we fortunately got this little board that we've had that we're able to use as a little work area and just offload our brushes right on it, and that helps a lot. I like the offloading of the brush, the paint um, from the brush. It gives it more of a, to me, if I called it something, it looks like denim to me. You know what I mean? It looks like denim. The, it looks like a texture like denim. That's what it looks like to me, but... Oh, for what? 
for the words when I'm pouncing like this, when you pull it up, to me it was like mm -hmm. consistency of what denim would look like. But that's just me. I could, I don't think, I can't think of anything else. All right. I have a little bit. Um, also, I just want to mention, you know, if there's anybody that you know of that's interested in DIY or, you know, just let them, you know, reach out to them on... Um, if they're interested in a video uh, demonstration, sprinkle, sprinkle this video. Sprinkle. Okay, I said it. I can't. I cannot bring myself to say the word. I don't know why. So if you could weird. help us out and sprinkle this video. It sounds weird. So there you go. We said it. I have to turn in my man card <laughs> if I say that word. <laughs> Sorry, Facebook. Y'all gonna have to think of something else for the guys. <laughs> I gotta touch up my Mia. What are you doing in here? Our cats decided Mia. to join the party down here on the floor. She's curious as to what we're doing in here, doing this. <laughs> Who are you talking to? I hope I don't mess up my. Oh, there we go. I'm being very brave. No. You got the ratio brush to paddles <laughs> kind of large. <laughs> I'm just gonna try. I don't have any other brush. Where's this Can you one? one? Do you have a small one? Oh, Smaller one. I, need. I got you. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. These are. Which brush is this? Those are the um, DIY. DIY. DIY paint. Um, I think that's that's DIY. Number twelve. Number twelve. And this is the JRV um, 18, JRV stencil brush number 18, which also works really well for for waxing, for those who are familiar with white wax or clear wax or dark wax. And this is Dixie Bell. Dixie Bell. We've got... we got all kinds of varieties <laughs> going on here. Here comes yeah. our kitty. <laughs> Mia, you can't come up here in the paint. I'm sorry. Don't you? <laughs> Mia, no, you can't come up here with the paint now. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be bad news. Hey, there she goes. All I gotta do is rattle paper, and she, uh, yeah. she is done. <laughs> All right. You know what I may do? I may add a few more stars on this because I just think it needs more stars. That's just my take. That's what I like about DIY. I mean, excuse me. JRB stencils. I'll get them right in a minute. Um, you do it. You don't have to do it exactly that way. You can do it whatever way you want. I really like this. That's cute. If I can. Isn't that cute? Yeah, it's cute. I got this board at one of the thrift stores for two ninety nine. Yeah, that's the beauty of a thrift store, especially on things like this. You can find all kinds of things to make signs out of. Even things that had already had something on them, just paint over it. Paint over it, add a stencil, and you got a whole new look. There's one on our display. If you, look, if you see the picture that I posted on Facebook um, showing the display where the blanket is seen, the one to the when you're looking at the photo to the right of the blanket, it was a, a sign, I think had a mirror on it at one point, and the glue like came off or whatever, and um, we got it at the thrift store. And it was, uh, oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. My hand hit it. Um, and I was able to um, put that stencil on it, change the whole entire look. All right, here's mine. That looks good. Into I added the stars. The stars were really only done here. I added these up here just to, that makes more sense to me. I think that's really cool. All right, so we got hot cocoa. 
We've got our Let's Stay Home. And we've got our nativity scene. Look at that. Four cute signs. Four cute signs. I don't know how long we've been on, but you can see how quick you can actually get something done with these. So they're amazing, amazing quick projects for, like I said, kids, fam, you know, gifts, your home decor for Christmas. And we've got other things besides Christmas. We were just demonstrating Christmas because we know that's coming up soon. And a lot of people probably are starting to think of creative ways to get your home all ready for the holiday. And because um, we know that what coming about <laughs> Halloween Christmas music will start playing. Uh, so everybody's going to get ready for that. Anyway, anything? Anything nope. else? Nothing else? Nope. So we are excited about our JRV stencil yep. debut here in Birmingham, Alabama. Yeah, we're very excited. This is something we've been, uh, we've partnered with um, this company in a different way for a while, and we like the integrity of the company, but we like their products that they produce and how well made they are. So we're excited about that, that, that part of it. Um, and they're coming out with more things. So this, you know, the, the possibilities are really endless. Their stencils, they have everything you can think of already is in a short time that they've um, been producing them. So, but we, again, like the thickness of them, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, for those who might be just joining, um, they're very thick. So they really make for some crisp, clean lines, and that is the biggest challenge. You don't want the stencils moving too much, because <clears throat> then it starts to bleed through, and then you're kind of having to do a lot of repair. So fortunately with JRV, usually if you're offloading and you're using that practice and um, doing the pouncing method, again, that's my recommendation. Others like the swirling, but I'm, I'm a little, I want to be a little bit cleaner with this. Um, JRV stencils definitely support a very crisp, clean look once you're done with everything. Well, all right. Well, if there's any comments, we thank you guys for joining us. We know it's uh, the night before getting ready for work, so we won't keep you too much longer because we know everybody's probably tired and getting ready for the work week. Unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, unfortunately. <laughs> yep. Nobody gets to sleep in tomorrow um, <laughs> unless you want to. So anyway, if you have any questions about any of the products or anything that we've used, reach out to us. Um, and if you have any questions, like I said, on anything that you've seen that we produce, any of our videos, and by the way, um, we are, all, are also on YouTube. So there are several things on projects that we use on YouTube. Um, you know, give us a thumbs up and uh, let us know that you joined and if it's replay great we're glad you're on and we'll definitely respond to you if you have any questions or comments <clears throat> sorry i'm losing my voice but check us out keep us keep uh, uh, up to date with what we're doing by subscribing to our channel on youtube as well as um, liking any of our um, uh, social media we're on instagram as well as facebook and help us out and sprinkle this video yeah we'd appreciate yeah. it tremendously all right, guys, thank you so much. Thanks we hope everybody watching. has a great week. Bye.